Hey everybody, welcome back to Dragon 5's Half-Blind Nuzlocke of Pokemon Omega Ruby. In the last video, we, um, well, we got through Marvel City, we, uh, travel along the route that connects to Verdant Turf Town, and, uh, yeah, and we, uh, we ended up, uh, we ended things off in, uh, Verdant Turf Town. So, before, before we, uh, actually continue, uh, we're, we're gonna do something, um, a little bit different today. So, um... I had a f I have a friend, and he was asking me if um, I would if I would use any other Pokemon besides the one I catch in the Nuzlocke, and you know I I thought about it a little bit, and you know I figured you know I'm just gonna make I'm just gonna make an exception for this uh, just for just for just for my friend here. Um, he said he he had something that was would be a good surprise for me, and you know what like. I'm not one to like stick so 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 closely to the rules. So um, so I'm I'm actually just logging on to the I'm, I'm logging on to the play nav right now onto the internet. So I'm just gonna trade him something. Uh, hopefully something that he doesn't have already. Um, he's he is playing Alpha Sapphire, so I think he shouldn't have this Pokemon. So I'm gonna trade him right now. And so my friend is, um, my friend's name is, is, uh, friend's name is The Bird Banana. So he's also going to be making some cool YouTube videos. So, um, I'll, I'll, I'll make sure to, I link him, um, I'll make sure I link him below. So you guys can check out some of his videos as well. So, yeah, uh, yeah, so, um, I hope none of you think it's, like, cheating or anything. I, um, uh, I did ask, also ask him to nickname it, so I want to see what he nicknames it. So let's see. Um, okay, so I'm gonna give him this C dot. Uh, also, I do have Pokerus. Uh, that's from my X and Y games, um, but I'm not gonna, you know, use it on my actual team. Oh, is that? What really? How? How did he? Wait, it's really this one? Oh, for some reason I thought it was gonna be a grass type, but so Viper is actually like. So Viper uh, is a Pokemon that really means a lot to me because uh, in Pokemon X, it was like one of my favorite Pokemon, but then it unfortunately had a uh, it unfortunately had a death. So I'm I'm uh, I'm I'm super happy to be getting a uh, Viper. So its name's Severe. I think it's pretty fitting, and it, it is female and a heal ball. Um, so <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I I I'm I'm really excited to use this. And yeah, I can't I can't this is something I can't catch in um uh Omega Ruby. So um Yeah, so uh be be looking for, for this one. I I might not use it all the time, but I'll probably will use it in a few battles here and there. So, um okay, so why don't we continue along the route? Okay, so we're back. Uh uh actually I just realized in our haste I forgot to like actually look at the Pokemon. Um, so again, Survivor means a lot to me, uh, just because in my Pokemon X Nuzlocke, I actually found it in a horde of uh, with Z with Zangoose, and when um, when it's with Zangoose, uh, it, they will attack the Survivor, and uh, just by just by some chance luck, I was able to catch the Survivor. Um, now, and I think that really made uh, Survivor mean a lot to me. I even actually named it after my own name. But, uh, yeah, so here's Survivor. Uh, has Shedskin ability. Um, let's see. Hardy nature. So, um, it's well-rounded. Um, let's see. It has the attacks. Uh, I'll show you here. Assurance, Poison Tail, Poison, poison Fang, and Venom Shock. Um, yeah, all grid, uh, all grid attacks. Um... I think Poison Tail is exclusive to Survivor unless something gets an egg move with it, but I'm pretty sure it's exclusive. So, anyways, so, um, oh, come on, excuse me. Um, okay, so I think that's going to be a great addition to the team, especially after we lost, um, Marina. And I think I was saying in a couple of videos ago how, um, what a good, um, um, type defensively poison types are. Oh, oops. I so uh, I actually have Maryland, and I was kind of training him. Oops, I was kind of training him a little bit. Um, so I'm gonna put him back in the box, train back for Skitty. Um, and I think we're actually gonna be changing a couple of nicknames. <laughs> um, 
I, I mean, Skitty's, I mean, Kitten is a fine name, but I think I found, I, I figured out something else that I like better. And Pikachu doesn't have a nickname either, so I'm gonna have to think of something for her as well. Uh, I don't really feel like going all the way to Slateport right now, so I'm just gonna do what I said, and I'm just gonna show you guys around um, Verdant Turf. And I'm sorry if I keep moving, I, I, have, I have a little different setup today. Um, it's a little earlier in recording, and people are still up and about in my house, so. Um, okay, so let's go here. So let's talk to let's talk to you. Uh, my daughter's boyfriend is a very driven and passionate sort of person. He's been digging a tunnel nonstop just so he can see my daughter. Uh, my daughter's a little concerned, so she goes out to the tunnel a lot. So actually, so she's the mom, or she's the mom of the girlfriend of the of that digger on the other side of on, on the other side of Rusturf Tunnel. But that means she's also related to. Oh, so you did come to visit. If you're looking for Wally, though, I'm afraid he's gone. After he left, after he lost you in Mauville, he said he had to train more, and we haven't seen him since. It must be his Pokemon that has lit such a fire in that boy and given him so much hope to live for. So he's actually the uncle of Wally, and so that means she's an aunt, and that means their daughter is um, related, you know, cousins um, with Wally, and so see, uh, kind of interesting. I don't think I ever really realized that before. Uh, and you know, now that he's talking about it, how much he, like, he has hope to live for, and I know that he, they were saying he was always a sickly child, does that mean he, he has some kind of terminal disease or something? That's kind of morbid, but anyways. She got lost, disappeared on the sign. Um, does that mean we have to find it for you? Well, I'll keep a, I, my eye out. Um, let's just go over here. Uh, let's see. Oh. Oh. Okay, so this person, she, she um, tells you how uh, friendly your Pokemon are to you. And so Carpe Diem is pretty new to the team, so it's not, like, great. Um, but um, let's, if we check, like, Sapphire, I'm pretty sure it'll be, like, higher. Let's see. Let me see how friendly you Okay. It's extremely friendly toward you. It couldn't possibly love you more. It's a pleasure to see. So I think that's actually the maximum. So Sapphire has maximum happiness to me. And I'm kind of surprised because it's only level 22. Um, all right, um, what do you have to say? With the way the winds blow, volcanic ash is never blown in this direction. That means that the air is clean and delicious here. It could surely do wonders for the frail and sickly. Okay, so that's the reason why, um, Wally moved here. And again, I'm just, I, I know I've said this before, but I'm just loving the music in this place. It's so calm and so soothing. Far away, deep in Evergrande City is the Pokemon League. The trainers who gather there are all frightening, frighteningly well-skilled. In the Pokemon League, the rules say you have to battle the Elite Four all in a row. If you lose to any of them, you have to begin your challenge over again from the first one. Uh, well, in our case, if we lose to any of them, like, you know, you know, a lot of training in store. Okay, so, okay, I think we pretty much... Oh, oh and here's another um, contest contest location. Uh, so, I didn't, I didn't show... Uh, I, I actually did this off screen. Uh, I was gonna leave it, but I forgot. So if you talk to this girl right here, she actually gives you the TM uh, attract. So um, I'll probably be erasing attract off Skitty now that um, I have access to it. Oh, and okay, so this is perfect for those of you who love to match your Pokeballs with Pokemon. So if you go to this guy, he actually sells heal balls, nest balls, and luxury balls. So luxury balls are my absolute like like favorite um pokeball i like heal balls too but i i i'm not i don't know ever since the, the heal ball has kind of more of a purplish hue i haven't caught any of my like pink pokemon in them as much because in, in original games like if you look at it it does look pretty pink right but when it actually gets sent out it's not that pink nest balls are not my favorite but um they're good at catching some grass types because you know it matches the green i think it's perfect for leafeon um, okay, so I think we're done here. I don't think we can actually uh, use Rock Smash yet until we have, um, until we have, what's it called? Um, uh, the third gym badge. So, um, I think in our case, we will, uh, since we cleared all these trainers last video, um, let's go. I, I feel like we're, our team still needs a little bit more training. Um, and I actually do want to use Severe, um, but maybe not yet. Oh, my, my berry. Okay, so I'm planting a couple of berries. Um, just remember to keep watering them. Uh, different berries at different times that you have to like come back for them. 
so the more times you water him the better um yield yield you'll get but the, i think i think one of the great things though i think um they're a lot more lenient about how many times you water it because i planted some orange berries and cherry berries there and i got eight uh i got eight of um eight berries and i i didn't water i only watered them like the very first time um let's go to the east first i just i i just want to make sure we clear those trainers up first okay so i'm liking the fact that we can actually have a bike now because excuse me the aroma of flowers has a magical power it cleanses us body and soul Okay, Aroma Lady, Ro um, Aroma Lady Rose. Pretty fitting name, I suppose. Okay, so I'm gonna, I'm planning to clear this route out. Um. Uh oh yeah, so uh, Carpe Diem has Intimidate, which is super useful. Okay, so I, I actually don't remember if I told you what the attacks I was gonna teach it, but I taught it Facade, and Thunder Wave and Taunt. So Facade should probably take this out, no problem. Yeah, like Gyarados is. Uh, attack size is just way too high. It's almost unfair. Uh, over Zelia. Uh, so I'm planning to take out this route and maybe the, um, the route north of here, and I think that should be it for this video. Uh, I'm debating whether or not I should... Um, 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 sorry, I, I totally lost my train of thought. Uh, oh, I'm debating whether or not I should speed up the videos, uh, but I feel like I, I don't want to do that too often, you know, like, maybe just like, I feel like, mm, well, I might do that, we'll, we'll see. Um, maybe not this route, just because it's like, I've already started on this route. Um, yeah, because I know the battles can get a little repetitive over time, I mean, maybe you guys like seeing the, the Pokemon in action. But, you know, I'm pretty sure that gets a little old. So, um, Rough Skin got buffed in this generation. No, it doesn't do one just one sixteenth of your damage as one eighth, so that's pretty good. Uh, Rough Skin also is a hidden ability of Gibble and, you know, Gabite and Garchomp, so I think that's, it's more used in Sandvale nowadays. Um, just cause, you know, cause, um, for those of you who battle competitively, yeah, the, oh, Magnet Magnemite, eh? Okay, I'm gonna switch out. Um, see, uh, like, the Pokemon who had, um, what's that ability called? The one that, uh, uh, activates Sandstorm, uh, upon, it, uh, upon entering, uh, I forgot the name, but I can't believe I forgot the name. But, um, they, yeah, all the weather moves got, um, nerfed to just five turns, so Sandvale isn't used as much on Garchomp nowadays. Uh, oh, great. You know, I really need a, I really need a ground type, because, I don't know, like, these Pokemon are just, it's gonna be so annoying. Oh, like, yeah, see, it was trying to use a Parafusion combo. Parafusion is a combination of Paralysis and Confusion, and when you, um, do that, you only have, like, a, oh, shoot, come on, um, let's use Snarl again, sorry. Oh, Thundershock, that's pretty weak. Um, you, you have a pretty low chance of, like, actually hitting. Um, uh, I think it's like 37.5% chance. I could be totally wrong, though, but... Oh, Facade's gonna do major damage. Oh, oh. I'm faster? How am I fast? Oh, it's... Oh. I'm still faster. I thought I was gonna use Roar or something, because Roar, like, makes your... Makes you go last no matter what, but I'm still faster, even or not. And I don't have the quick feet ability. Okay, please just, please just attack Amos. Okay, I'm not liking Amos's face. It's just, just really ugly. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Amos, but just look at it. Okay, uh, okay. I'm gonna. Okay, well, just just watch. Like, okay, uh, never mind. Well, you, you guys, you guys, you guys know what it, you guys know what I'm talking about. Okay, and um, I yeah, I, I really feel like I do want to use severe, but uh, just for right now, I think just because we already kind of trained up these guys, I, I want to make sure like they get a a fair chance. 
and I'm pr I don't know just the way I, I've been my I wouldn't say luck but just the way things have been going oh yeah I forgot about this where oh, where is it where is it oh it was I, I was standing next to it um just the way things have been going I really feel like someone else is gonna die I, I really don't want anyone else to die like I'm I would never just kill someone off on purpose but just knowing my luck so far yeah I, I think I feel like we're, people are gonna get more chances than they um, all right well that was really easy uh, okay I'm gonna I'm gonna heal off screen really fast so I'll be right back okay and we're back um, say so, so now we're just gonna go north uh, I really don't hope I'm not over level well uh, I don't mind over leveling just because everyone keeps dying so Okay, so Route 111. Okay, um... What does it say? Okay, Mobile City. Okay, we knew that. Uh, I challenged the Wind Street family, but four matches in a row is tough going. They destroyed me. Okay. Oh, okay, so... Uh, I'm going to show this really fast. So, this is the Wind Street family. Uh, here. And I guess as their name implies, you have to do four straight wins. Family's be uh, heart speed is one. Okay, so uh, who do I want to be in front? You know, Carpe Diem. Yeah, we'll put you in front. Uh, okay, let's just do this. Hello, I take it you're a traveler. What do you say to take an honor family of four in a series of Pokemon battles? Uh, yes. That's the spirit. I like you. Okay, the win straight's Victor. Victor as in winner, or Victor as in his name? Okay. Uh, that's... Uh, yeah, that's definitely not gonna survive. Quick attack. Oh. Well, oh, look. Luckily I had to intimidate. Okay, I might show the rest of this route. I, I, the Windsor family is the only thing I really wanted to show on this route, so I might just speed up everything else. Uh, but I won't speed up these battles. Okay, so maybe I shouldn't have put Gyarados. Okay, this kind of reminds me of the anime when after like the Kanto region, when Ash still had his what his Charizard, and he was battling like Chikoritas and Pidgeys and Rattatas. And everyone was saying, oh, Charizard, that's so unfair. But I mean, honestly, like... Like... It's not like it's not allowed. Um... Whatever. Okay, I'm sorry. The setup is not... I'm not liking this setup as much. I'm probably gonna go back to my original setup, so I'm sorry if I keep shaking and stuff. But, um, we have a Roselia. It's gonna be super weak. Actually, I'm actually hoping it poisons it because it'll. Okay, never mind. Um, I'm surprised it actually survived. Oh, Leech Seed. Oh well. Okay, well it's not like it has a lot of other Pokemon. That's gonna get a ton of ton of HP back. Well, I'm still gonna facade. I really hope I, I like I was saying. I hope it poisons just because it's gonna double its uh, strength. And poison, poison damage doesn't like affect you at the end of a battle. So if, if it just kind of sweeps through everything, it doesn't really, it won't really affect it. Okay. Actually, yeah, I might as well just use Gyarados now, um, just because I'm not gonna be able to use it during the electric gym. We've got a strong trainer here. This one's really strong. You're stronger than mom. Wow. But I'm strong too. Really, honestly. Okay, I'm glad I got the gender right this time. I'm kind of standing, I'm kind of sitting at an angle, so it's kind of hard to see, a little bit hard to see. Okay, like Goldeen, really? Honestly, did they really just like nerf all the levels or something? Because I remember them this being a little bit harder. Well, I mean, I guess I have a, you know, I guess I have Carpe Diem, but uh, I'm going to switch. I don't, oh, hate confusion. Um, who needs a level? Um... Uh, I kind of don't want to see. <laughs> sorry, but I kind of don't want to see Amos's ugly face. I'm gonna use kitten. 
Maybe I should have kept it as a Poochiana. I probably wouldn't have been complaining this much about it. So I apologize for those of you who like Mariana. Flail, that's... Oh, okay. That was really weak. It was... That should have been super powerful. And, okay, and, uh, I don't know if you guys noticed, but I, I taught, um, Skitty, uh, Faint Attack. I figured it doesn't miss, and I feel like it, it could be useful, I guess, if people, like, are using Double Team or something. And two uses of Faint Attack is about the same power as, um, two Echoed Voices anyway, so. Of course. Of course. Of course it poisons Kitten and not, um... Oh, okay, well, the block that stuns Spore. Uh... Maybe I should have teach it a fifth facade. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of attractant for something. I really oh I I wanted to learn oh no. Okay. Sorry, I'm still a little bit uh phobia of Shumish is using headbutt. Um Okay, Kitten's definitely gonna be the weak link on this team. Like Everyone else has evolved, and she's still super weak. Oh, it d oh, she she has a lot of she has more Pokemon than just two. A Numble. Um. Well, honestly, I actually don't know the pr correct punch pronunciation of this because shouldn't it be Numel? Because it's kind of like Camel, so Numel. Uh, that's probably right. Because Numel would be two M's. Okay, um, this is taking way too long. Uh, I heard Numel got, Numel got a little boost in this generation, like, before it used to use, I don't know, it didn't have that great of attacks in the beginning, but I think it has Flame Burst uh, pretty early on, has Magnitude, so, for, uh, well, I mean, I did say I was half blind, right, not completely blind Nuzlocke, so... All right, last one. This stinks. Snivel. Grandma. I was going to snivel, but then I'll say whatever. Uh, how dare you make How dare you make my precious granddaughter cry? I see I need to teach you a lesson. Prepare to feel the sting of defeat. I'm so sorry. She looks so um I don't know, chibi-ish? Like whatever. Uh, Kirby Dean. Okay. Oh, this could actually stand a challenge. Well, not really. I lowered its attack, and it's probably gonna. Oh, never mind. Confusion. It's gonna be so weak. Okay, well. Whatever. Okay, uh, yeah, that was. That was just a really. Whoa, so strong. My daughter wasn't lying. Or granddaughter. If you're not in any hurry... Okay, I, I, I just I just gave her an accent. Visit, zip, visit with us a while. Um, I think I will. You're the first trainer I've seen deploy Pokemon with such mastery. But I should warn you, my son, my son is stronger than you. He even challenged the Pokemon League, I'll have you know. Any items? Mom is stronger than Dad, I'm stronger than Mom, and Grandma's stronger than me. But my big brother is even stronger than Grandma is. Our family uses this Macho Brace to strengthen our Pokemon more effectively during their training. You may not need it, considering that you beat the whole lot of us, but I hope you'll accept it anyway. Okay, so Macho Brace... Well, I'll explain after I talk to Grandma. When it comes to... Okay, yeah. I'm pretty passionate. Okay. There's no, there's no question that you're strong. Okay, I messed up. <laughs> But if you ever if you ever battle my grandson, you'll end up crying in frustration. He's stronger than any other trainer we know. Uh, my grandson must be challenging the Pokemon League champion by now. Knowing my grandson, he could be the champion champion already. Ee he he. Okay, so the Macho Brace, it's uh, it basically doubles the amount of EVs you get on a Pokemon. Okay, so say you're battling a Zubat, that usually gives you one speed EV. Macho Brace will make it so you have two. And if you have Pogurus, uh, which I showed earlier, it doubles even more, so you'll get four. Uh, Macho Brace used to be the only way you could really EV train, but now with the inv in in um, invention of um, the power items, it's basically useless. So, yeah. Um, is there any... that's it? Okay, uh, 
Okay, so I can't go on until I have rocks uh, until I rock smash those. So, um, okay, I'm gonna heal, and I'm guess we're just gonna go. I'm gonna meet you guys in front of the gym. I'll be right back. Okay, so something I just realized that is actually getting pretty close to, or probably really past 20 minutes. So, what I'm gonna do? I'm actually just going to um, go back to this guy, and I'm gonna. Prep my Pokemon up a little, prep, prep, prepare my Pokemon a little bit more. Um, I'm gonna, you know, I just, I was just gonna buy Low Sweep, but I'm now that I'm thinking about it, maybe I should buy Bulldoze. Okay, we're gonna buy Bulldoze. Um, I think only Loudred or only um, Whisper can learn that. Let me see. Yeah. Oh, Gyarados can learn it too. Okay, well, I'm still not gonna use it. I'm still not gonna use it, but uh. Okay, Carpe Diem, you are going to learn this bulldoze. Yeah, I just. Because I remember Low Sweep being. You know, I, I feel like. Um, uh, uh, I feel like Grinch needed a boost. Um, I think I'm gonna get rid of Taunt for now. Um, so I was just gonna get a uh, low sweep, but now that I, I realized bull I forgot bulldoze was here I'm just gonna change to whisper and I was gonna use my Diana in the in the gym battle, but Well, there might be three Pokemon. Uh, should I get rid of bulldoze or screech or how? I'm getting rid of how Okay, so bulldoze is gonna be super useful against the gym leader. You have no idea. Uh, it still might be pretty challenging though. So, um, so I think we're just gonna end end things off here. Uh, I'm gonna go through at least half the gym actually before I end things off. Actually, you know what? Uh, we are gonna end things off here. It's been like half an hour or something. So, in uh, the next video, we will finally challenge Marvel City Gym. So. Um, stay tuned. I'll see you guys then.